Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It is so good to be here with you this morning. I hope that all is well with you. As you can see, the garden has really taken on a fullness of richness and and just a lot of life here. So I am very much excited about what it is going to be like this season. What I decided to do was to put the David Austin rose bush here in the garden and give it a place of honor. And it looks very happy here. I surrounded it with impatience, which I'm gonna add some more. But in the containers are the caladiums the caladium bulbs and it is now very warm here in the New England zones 6 region. Our nights are in the 50s and the day temperatures will be rising to the 70s plus. So I decided to put them around here and I think it's going to look really pretty when they come up. Their leaves are beautiful and it will actually complement the pink of the impatience as well as the beautiful pink of this rose which is surrounded by Alyssa. I love this ground cover here. This really is a carpet of joy. I am so pleased to have these here. Yeah. Lily of the Valley. It's from my Aunt Tanti's home, who has since passed away. I just took a couple of, of the starts and placed them in, and over time, they have spread. And I'm happy about this because when I see it, I remember her. At her home, though, it was just a layer of um, of this beautiful bulb plant, Lily of the Valley, and at this time it just set off a beautiful fragrance. But here I have it intermingled with um, the, I think it's called Diatris, um, it's called Bleeding Hearts, um, and these self-seed 
and also the uh, white this here is called bishop weed and it's beautiful as well and then I'm going to have white flowers coming and that's called um, the woodland um, amenities white amenity and it's beautiful so there's a lot of color here in this little patch and as you could see the alliums are starting to open up here it is going to be a beautiful sight over here I have the fruit trees but also I planted here the begonias and the sun plate patients along with the dahlias so you have begonia sun patient and look at the flower there and then behind that are the dahlias then I have some of the pots of the caladium so when they grow up I'm going to like tuck them in behind here and it was going to be beautiful right here in the center that is a Casablanca lily I planted them in like two years ago from Costco bulbs and they are looking healthy and strong that's going to be a good show I placed in this bed the other pot that I had gotten last year and I think it looks so beautiful here in this bed my daughter treated me at uh, Lowe's to this beautiful rose and as you can see there are some buds on it this rose has a beautiful name and a beautiful flower The rose is called Pinkerbell, Pinkerbell, and it's part of the Bloomables, fragrant pink flowers to cut and bring indoors. So I am going to let it sit in this pot for a little bit, let it bloom, then after it's bloomed, I'm going to plant it into the landscape. Probably later on um, in the uh, fall or towards the late fall I do like it here in the pot because it looks really pretty here you can see in this bed that I have a lot of um, hostas different types of hostas I have the plantania I have the variegated hosta here uh, in from the inside the variegated hosta from the inside and the variegated hosta on the outside and then I have this I don't know what it is um, the hostas seem to have suffered a little bit usually they're more fuller but uh, it's allowed this ground cover to happen and I don't know what it is but I'm leaving it there because it's making the place look full and then I have here um, ladies fern lady fern that's from my mother's garden uh, I love how it looks there then I have another hosta I don't know the name of this but I love this hosta um, it is so beautiful and soft and gentle and right here in the midst of it that is apple mint growing in between it I love the furry texture of the apple mint with this beautiful such um, I would say sage leaf color uh, and it is it is beautiful it's gonna get more deeper as time goes on and I have right here my lilies I believe that that is the um, I don't know we'll have to wait and see 
And then this is wild mustard. I love the wild mustard and they scatter throughout uh, because of the little white flowers. I think it's so dainty. As the season goes on, what I'm going to do is pull them up. Um, and um, one thing you must do is edit your garden. So that's what I will be doing, editing the garden. So this is what it looks like here. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Right here, that is my Elegance, Elegance um, Hosta. And it is going to be big and beautiful. I love the alliums that are coming up here with these pink tulips. That's just a beautiful scene amongst the apple tree that is there, the apple trees. And then here, this is my Japanese maple. This was a gift given to me by my son for Mother's Day about two years ago. This is its third year. I'm still in a pot, but I, it's a slow growing tree, so I don't mind it. And then I placed in here, these are the calla lilies from Roberta's, and you can see that it's starting to come up. I think it's going to look pretty to have the calla lilies here popping up. I have some more and have it amongst the leaves of the of the hosta. Usually this hosta is really big and boisterous, but for some reason this year um, it did not turn out that way. I'm, I'm still glad that it's full, but it's just just right right now and I think it will house the calla lilies really well so I planted the tomatoes over here I started planting the tomato starts here this is the one sweet 100s cherry so that's one there right there here and here and what is going to happen is that they're going to grow up and I want them to grow up into the apple trees and I will get them some I have the steaks back there I will get them some steaks and stake them up uh, but then I also want them to grow into the apple tree as well and I think it's going to look really pretty In this corner here, or side entering into my kitchen garden, I have a lemon balm, which is just growing in so nicely. I've already started drinking the teas. And in this, I was able to, contain, to get a different type of apple mint. So that's apple mint. And then this here is orange mint. And I finally decided to plant in ground the spearmint because I don't think it's as vigorous as the others. But it's good to have the mints in this corner here under the peach tree. I want to show you also the potato. I put in two Yukon potatoes, yellow Yukon potatoes, in the bag. And they are just greening up nicely. I am so pleased with that. So let me just show you real quickly here. This is the other. I got another one of those rose bushes. Uh, the Pinkabelle. So I am excited about how this rose is so beautiful. I'm not going to necessarily leave it here. But for right now, I'm putting it in this spot. 
But what I want to show you is that I did plant out the tomato starts that I had and the cabbage. So on this side here, I planted the jet star tomatoes here. And then over here, big boy. And then early girl with the cabbages lining the spot. So this is what it looks like. In these two containers are two more of the caladiums. I'm not going to leave them there, but for right now, I just wanted them to have a nice, soft, safe space. And this is what the kitchen garden looks like. Now, here are where I have two of the um, containers, the stackables that I had placed the strawberries in and I'm going to add in the two other plants that I got from Home Depot here in this um, and then also fill up another one as well. I cut back the shrubs that were behind here in what I call my jewel garden and I just love how it turned out. Uh, it's very viney, very um, a lot of seedlings and so forth, or staplings I should say. So they will grow up and they will create a nice backdrop for this bed. But in here I have my um, a still bee that I transplanted from another part of the garden and I have um, Dianthus. Um, these, this is a um, hibiscus plant that I got from Roberta's garden. And so I placed it there and behind it is my um, Candy Crush hydrangea that's returning from last year. And then this rose bush I got from Home um, Lowe's uh, the same maker, Bloomable, Bloomable Roses, beautiful, and it's going to be brick red, um, yeah, and then I love my tulips, and I'm so glad to get them, these are late tulips, and I got the tulip bulbs from um, Costco, Costco tulips, and they showed up so sweetly, now I also wanted to show you here, these are alliums, large alliums, and then I have another bush back there. I forgot the name of it, but it is beautiful. And then these are the two rose bushes. These are uh, mother of pearl roses, and they are looking so good. Now I scattered underneath a wild um, seed, and I'm hoping to get what I really want is blue flax. I'm hoping that the blue flax will um, grow in at this time and um, and then I have my miniature roses that I had gotten and I put them in and hopefully they will come back as well they're on their own bare roots so I'm very excited about that and there is another hibiscus plant here is my quick fire and then this is the spirea wow that was such a great great plant um, boxwood there. Isn't that pretty? And then um, this is my oak leaf hydrangea which is just getting larger and larger and it looks like it has different spouts. I might be able to um, to actually uh, sever it and um, get another one from it. So this is what this bed looks like and I, it just makes me so happy. I'm so pleased at how the garden is looking at this time, especially in the front garden here in my jewel bed. So beautiful and even just looking all the way down, it is so beautiful. And hearing the birds sing, and yes, I am in the city. I am an urban girl, so uh, the neighbors are up early. I don't know, I thought that I had beat them to it, but all of a sudden, they showed up with their sound, but that's okay. We're all alive and well here in the city. Isn't that pretty?
I just love the daintiness of them along with the uh, diet uh, carnations it smells so beautiful I also put in some um, lavender there and then uh, you could see a ground cover here I have two different types of ground cover and um, Limiatris and Liatris I think um, which is so pretty and then behind I have Bee Balm and uh, they look uh, great right now I also have two hydrangea shrubs um, that I had propagated and then I don't know if you noticed it but I'm gonna have a lot of beautiful white flowers the amenities are coming in here as well so this um, garden bed is in a lot of transition along with um, day lilies those are going to be the orange um, old-fashioned day lilies here I'm thinking of moving my pot here and putting it in the middle there uh, of this bed as well um, and we shall see if I can get help moving it it's gonna be put right in the middle there so this is what it looks like here isn't this pretty this whole front bed what a transition um, from last year when I had uh, nothing but um, shade and it was so dull but now I have this great beauty here and then this is a wild rose which shall have beautiful white dainty um, flowers and that's coming in I'm excited about the roses I really am I'm excited about the roses so this is this side of the garden this is the side garden. This is what I call my urban English style garden. And you can see the lilac along with my neighbor's tree. That's so beautiful. The coloring here on this side is absolutely gorgeous. They all come together so nicely. But yes, you could imagine the smell of the lilacs. It's two uh, lilac plants together that have been here for about like Mm, 20 years now one of my foundation plantings I have here also a red knockout rose which is going to be filled with blooms and then here in this bed I haven't done very much in it just yet but I did seed out some uh, wildflowers and we'll see how that comes along but I do love how it looks the purple theme is in here and you can also see that the alliums are starting to open up and I also have this beautiful bachelor button mountain bachelor button which is so nice it's a perennial and this is just looking really pretty here I also have peonies that are um, budding up and it's just going to be a beautiful uh, late spring garden thank you so much for joining me here at Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together thank you bye For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.